Hello, it's Julian Meller, Positive Impact Golf Coach. Today's video is all about trust, whether we should or we shouldn't trust our golf swing. In an ideal world, we want to trust our golf swing, especially when we're playing on the course or we're in under competition pressure. Uh, but can we trust it? That's the question. And I'm going to say, no, we can't. Uh, there's a lovely saying in life, feel and real are very, very different. And that's never truer than in, in golf. Um, what we feel we're doing, and what's happening in reality can be really, really different. Just this week I was coaching a guy who said he was doing a certain movement within the golf swing and once we videoed it, it was nothing like what he felt it was. Um, one of our deadly don'ts is not to keep your head down, don't keep your head down. Um, if we do, it tends to kill the movement. So in an ideal world, as soon as we hit it, go with it. Don't keep your eyes focused on that golf ball. Um, so what should you do to start to build up the trust within your golf swing and take that to the golf course? Well, you need feedback. One way or another, you need feedback. And whether that's through video, uh, I would definitely recommend that you, you download an app that you can start to slow down. So we use one called Huddle, H-U-D-L. It's a free app. Uh, I would highly recommend that you use this to video your golf swing and have a look at it. I think one of the, the worst things that we can do is, is go out there, practice for two or three hours, come off there thinking that we've done it correctly and we may, may, may have made it worse. So uh, a little bit of video feedback is good. You could just take a little tripod onto, onto a practice area, video your swing, have a look, make sure you're doing it correctly. Well, the other um, best thing to do really, if, if you're finding that a struggle, is maybe come online. You know, I do quite a lot of online coaching now with people all over the world and, and that's really growing in popularity because what you're going to get then is, is uh, correct feedback from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And no disrespect to playing partners, but they might not have the knowledge that uh, a professional has. So I'd probably recommend that you do that one. Um, a mirror, a reflection, if you've got a reflection at home, let's say you've got a window or a mirror here, you know, and you're working on a certain movement, just get the feedback from, from the reflection. Um, there's, there's, there's other ways of doing it, but don't just rely on the result of the golf shot. Um, you need some physical evidence, so a video, a picture, some feedback from a professional is where you want to be. Um, as always, if you have any queries, any questions, uh, you can find my contact details on my website, juliemellagolfschool.co.uk. I uh, hope this video has uh, helped a little bit and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again. Bye.